Okay, it's the start of the painting. Ah, it's been a slow morning, but um, I've been using my new big scraper. It's a very aggressive thing. But um, yeah, first few um, lines with it are fairly uh, impressive. Um, how's it gonna work out? Well, the painting. I don't know, I haven't moved the painting on much. There's a basic, um, what's it called, the composition there. Very basic though. But hey, I have to start somewhere. Early lunch. Okay, it's a very um, simple painting so far. But um, I like it. I like it. Is it a religious painting? I suppose you could see it that way, but um, I'm not a religious man, so I don't really care. Yeah, it's a religious place, so whatever. Um, I don't want to push this too far because I'm loving the openness of the of the uh, brushwork of the, of the paint handle. So, well, maybe I'll push it too far on a later date, but not today. Yeah. Uh, I, I love this kind of painting, but it has to be perfect. You really have to get it perfect first time for it to have any value. Um, some of it is perfect, some of it not so much. Anyway, more to do. Fine line between, uh, what's the fine line between? Getting it right and destroying it. Okay, figures, gonna work on the figures a little bit before I call it a day on this one and leave it to settle. Okay, some thoughts. Can an atheist paint a religious painting? Um, maybe an atheist is the only person capable of painting a truly religious painting. Um, you might find that beauty without any of the conceptual hang-ups or whatever. Oh, it's all bullshit really, but um, this looks like a religious painting to me. Okay, um, more work, more work. I, I love the scarf, how the scarf came out. It is quite nice. I need to put sunlight in on these figures, but if I do it now, the blue will pull into it and that'll... I want it to be clean. And the other issue I'm having is the reeds. I think they're important, but I don't think this is correct. If you see, maybe the color is too close to the staff, maybe do the color. I want, yeah, an area of reeds between the people and the lake. Um, I might do it today though. I might um, call this one stage one on this one and photograph it and move on.